Hi everyone, it's Donna here. I've been requested to show you how to um, create some mixed media. And I'm just going to show you some ATCs because they're quite small and it doesn't take up too much of your time. And I, it's not a lot of time, uh, not of um, space that I have to cover. So I'm going to show you two. I'm going to show you the ATC coin and I'm going to show you the ATC card. Okay. Now, the difference between these two is that an ATC coin is two and a half inches circular, and I use this punch, and it's an EK success. Um, and what I do there is I cut it four times, okay? And just like this, ordinary cardstock. Um, I do two white, one black for the top, and I do a black or grey or whatever. You've got the spare. You can even do a white um, for the back. This here, it measures two and a half inches there, three and a half inches. And the, these are the standard sizes for these two uh, ATCs. And ATC stands for Artist Trading Cards or Artist Trading Card Coins, okay? And I've just done a black on the top, a black on the bottom, but I've done two white in the middle because you need them quite thick. Um, I'm going to start with this one first. Um, and what I've simply done here is that I've used an, um, the black cardstock. I've then gone over it with black gesso. And then I've done a modelling paste. I've used um, Stampira, but you can use any modelling paste. And it doesn't even have to be black. It could be white. And what you can do is just paint it um, black with black acrylic paint. So it's simple. I've used a stencil. And what I've done is that I've got a stencil. I've gone over that with the mod modeling paste, right? And then I've let it dry. So have you understood that? Really, really simple. Okay, paint it black gesso, um, let it dry. Then put the stencil on it, go over it with a, with a modeling paste, and then let it dry, okay? Then I've gone over this with these. And these are metallic waxes, okay? So they're all you've got the Inca golds. So I've I've gone over with, with these to give me some different colours. Now I'm going to put a little bit more gold on this one because to me it's not quite enough. Um, so I'll push it to the side. And this one I'm using, this is from Stampere as well. Um, and that's like a gold modelling wax. And all you do is rub it on with your finger. I mean, you can use anything that you want. But look, I, I honestly believe that um, a finger is pretty good. Okay. So you can do however you want to do it. Okay. That's enough for me. Now, I'm going to keep them really, really simple for you. Okay. So on this one. I'm going to use this image and this flower. And this is chipboard. And as you can see, I've just painted it in black gesso. Easy. Or you can do it in black acrylic paint. Um, either one of them would be uh, accept, uh, acceptable. I'm actually going to put a hole in this before I start. And I've just got a thing. There you go. I'll just put a hole in that. And if you're wondering what this is from, it is from, um, let me see. I should have had that ready for you. I apologize. It is from Stamp um, Uniquely, Uniquely Creative. And this one's called Stam Steampunk Safari. Okay. And you get some gorgeous image in it. So that's pretty simple. I've just got a plain bread here, which is um, a metal one. And I'm just going to put it in the middle. And now this probably will be a long one. And I don't mean it to be because people get bored. But sometimes you can't help it. So I've, I've fussy cut them already. And... Um, I've inked around the edges. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to choose a blue. And I'm going to do a charcoal blue. 
um, our wax. And this one's a matte, and I've got to get it undone first. And it's quite charcoal-y, believe me. Um, and I might even do a metallic aquasheen. Okay. As you can see, the two different there, it's humongous, isn't it? So I'm going to go there first. And though you can't see it per se, it's actually really, really shiny. And it smells divine. And I mean divine. A trick um, thing with these, when you store them, don't store them near heat. Um, because, take my word for it, they do react to heat. They actually melt. And I can prove that by showing you that where it's melted. So as you can see, it doesn't take much. I'm being really rough. There's no gentleness in it. I might even go a little bit of this blue around here too, actually. Around the edges. There you go. Just to make that all fit in together. I'm also going to do a little bit of gold again um, on this edge, on here, this flower. And again, it's nothing, I'm not being um, gentle. I think if you... I really, really admire the people who are so gentle. Look, I really do, but I, I've i never been one of them people. Okay. Now, I've got one of these here. These are a filigree, and they're a metal filigree. Um, and you can buy these online. Um, you can buy them in craft shops. You can actually do them in jewellery shops, jewellery stores, Um and they're just a really, really thin metal. Again, I've just painted them with black gesso. And I'm going to glue these down. Now, you can... This here, you need a good glue. So, a Stamperia has a brilliant glue. And it's an extra strong one, okay? Um, Cola Kleblu or something. Uh, but Stamperia have these that are brilliant. Another good glue is from um, Contour Creations, and that's a quick dry adhesive, and this is really good as well. Um, I also have the glitter glue or art glitter glue, uh, this one here, that is excellent. Um, I have uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. This is a great glue as well as to make things glassified. And also I have a um, Tombow multi-liquid glue. Just to show you that the different glues that you can use, you can use any of them and they will work. And these dry clear and that's what I really like about it is drying clear. Now as you can see, I'm just putting some here. I'm going to put that to the side there. I'm putting some more here. And I don't worry so much about um, the glue. So as you can see, there's some glue there showing. Because like I said, it dries clear. And believe me, in a moment, we're going to be having lots of mess. Okay, there's that one. Now, next one I'm going to do is this. And I'm going to use a stronger glue. I'm actually going to sort, knock the camera, sorry. I'm going to do this one here. And I really like this glue. It's really surprised me how good it is. It might help if I unclog it. Right, now we'll go again. And it really is quite a good glue. Um... I was, like I said, I was quite surprised at how great it was. So, there you go. Now, I'm just going to put that on top there. And, 
Helps if I take that end bit off. Now, keep that on end bit off because I've already stabbed myself a few times. Yeah, that's about right. I am so blind these days. I've got new glasses. All right, so just going to hold that there for one sec. Okay. How simple was that? Now, this one here. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a bend because I, I actually like to have a little bit of dimension with mine. Okay. Oh, I might flatten that out a bit. And again, I think I'll use this liquid glue because I've got a metal embellishment there. I do prefer to use the stronger glues. And I'm just going to put that straight in the middle. So as you can see, already we've done some quite an easy thing. But this is fussy cut out from the paper. Chipboard. Some embossing. Okay. It just takes a minute to dry, and that's the biggest thing here when you're doing videos. I found that the dry things take so long to dry, but what do you do? Okay, um, let me see what else can I use on this. It's a bit boring. I've got these trays. There. I brought these years ago. I've not. Even, I did see them somewhere, but um, I'm not sure where. I've got these little gold beads. And these ones are from Martha Stewart, but um, you can buy these like anywhere really. They're sort of cheap as chips. Well, can't say chips anymore because chips have actually got quite expensive over here. So I'm not really sure what they're like where you are, but. Over this way, they're quite expensive. I'm going to use some art glitter glue. I am going to use art glitter glue, yes. And the reason I'm using this is because it's got a fine nodule. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit there. And if you wonder what I'm doing, so I'm going to sprinkle them over in a moment. Okay. And this is why I've got my tray. And what it does, it sort of holds all these beads in here. You do a saucer. Um, get a piece of paper, a couple bits of paper, and you can do that. And I'll just get them off of there. Okay. Yuck. Yep. So I will put them back in directly. There we go. Okay, I think uh, we might put a word on it just to finish that off. And I might put some Mod Podge on. And like I said, Mod Podge has a, um, has a glass-like effect when you use it. And that's all I need. Normally, I would wait for this to dry before I did this, or I would do this first um, and then put it on. But in my wisdom of trying to show you, of course, I will muck it all up. And oh, so it's still quite wet. There we 
we go. Pretty, eh? Now, it's curled over it's because it's wet. It's wet because of the Mod Podge. But it won't be directly. When it dries, they will curl back up. Okay. And I'm going to do a word. So I have no idea what I did with these lids, but yes, I do know. I've chosen a word, uh, a little saying, creative, creativity takes courage. Um, I'm going to cut it quite fine and try to cut it straight, not crooked like I have done already. Okay. I'm just going to cut creativity. I'm going to ink around the edges again with a tool and some embossing powder, uh, embossing powder, um, some ox distress oxide inks or distress ink. There you go. I'm going to put some glue on this. And yes, I think you know where I'm going to put it. It doesn't need to have, um, I might get my tweezers for this one. There. Now, if I wanted to, I could do some blue beads or whatever, but at the moment, I think that's enough um, for that. So, while I'll do the other one, hopefully, that will dry a bit. How are we going for time? Oh, it's not too bad, 17 minutes. Okay. Next one, I'm going to do this one. Now, I've embossed this one with a Tim Holtz folder. And that's Mechanics. It's a 3D folder. As you can see, it's really, really thick. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these Tim Holtz ones. Um, other companies are bringing heaps of them out now. So, look, we're, we're extremely lucky to, to have all these companies bringing these things out for us. Okay, I'm going to start on this one. Um, I'm trying to be really quick for you. Um, I'm going to do, go I always do gold. Uh, this is the little image I'm going to use. Again, it's from the same paper. Um, the Sa Steampunk Safari, you know, uniquely creative, okay? And I've just fussy cut him out. Uh, so I'm going to use him. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to use some colours. I'll go gold. Now, this one is vintage gold. So, I'm going to do a wax first. And I love this one. It's one of my favourites. You can see because I've got this great big fingerprint in it. And as you can see as I'm doing this, this is just an embossing folder and black cardstock. But as you can see, look how effective that actually is. It just brings it out. Now, this makes it instantly makes this um, a piece of um, not only beautiful background, but it also makes it a start of a uh, any mixed media. I mean, that's it. it it's that uh, simple. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, I am going to do a blue, and I think I'll go that light blue again. This one's a bit harder. It's not from the same company, um, but it's still pretty. Now, just match it up there. Yep. So that's all I need to do that. Now, I've got two things here. Again, these are chipboard. Um, this one is just a plain piece of chipboard that, I, again, I've, I've painted all these with um, black um, gesso. But or, or acrylic paint. You can use either. It depends on what you have, okay? I find gesso is a lot better than acrylic because it's, it gives that the matte sort of look. Um, and I like it, really. I'm going to use this gold. Again, it's from the stamp here because it's a different gold and it's quite bright. See? It's quite bright. 
and you need the tiniest bit because the heat from your fingers actually makes this go a long, long way. Yeah, okay. Now, again, I'm just going over this a little bit. It's metal. Um, it doesn't stay on permanently, but you can if you want to, okay? You can make that stay. You just need to spray it with some heat, uh, some um, something to make it permanent. I'm thinking about using some gold, aged gold embossing enamel. Hmm. Hmm. So it's so pretty. And it's thick. Let me see. I've got another one of these little ones here. I've also got some Versamark ink. And as you can see from my Versamark ink pad, it is not clean. Okay, everybody starts getting panicky, but honestly, for the amount what I use it on inks, and as you can see here, you wonder why. And it does the same job, it actually doesn't come off. Um, if I want to do white on pure white, I've got one of these just for white, and I'm very careful then of what I do. Okay, so I'm just going to do a bit of embossing powder here. See, that is way, way too much. So I'll just grab a tiny little brush and take some of it off. Because that's middle piece. My in frame. That middle piece. Uh, is um where this is gonna go. Okay, and this has got a black in it. I don't know if you realise that that aged there has a black in it. Okay, I'm going to heat this up with my gun, and I'm going to move this out of the way though, because because once before I did this, and I um. I actually melted the tub of um, embossing powder. So just heat your gun up first. This is a basic technique for people who are just starting. Like a friend of mine's just started and she said, oh, can you show me, can you show me? So I said, yeah, I'll show you. But um, I'll show you from the word go. She wanted me to show her from the word go. Okay, because this is so thick, I'm not sure if it works. I usually heat up the card from the back. These are just little tips. You don't have to follow these tips. But the card is pretty thick. And I'm just going to leave that. It will blow off. And it is a proper heat gun. But I do find that this takes a lot, lot longer. A lot longer. You can see that's now starting to melt. Now I wanted to show you all this. I'm not forwarding it or anything. And the reason I'm not forwarding it is because she said, well, hey, if you forward stuff, then I miss out on, on what it looks like, how it works. And she's right in that. I've sometimes seen people forward stuff because they thought I knew and I didn't know. And, and someone said, oh, but it's so boring. And I thought, well, you can actually forward it. But for people who don't know, then this is what you do. Oh, I've again bumped the camera. I apologise. 
Okay, that should be enough. So as you can see instantly, I've buckled my mat, <laughs> but as you can see instantly, normally I'd put a heat mat under that. That won't matter because it will, I'll clean all this mess up later and it'll be fine. Okay. And now that's gold, I'm going to put some blue on this. See, it's just like there's nothing certain in, in this place, you know, like you think to yourself, oh, no, that looked perfect with that blue and gold. Well, now I've just changed it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's start putting it together. Okay. Let me see. I'll find my glues. And I'm using quite a bit of this one because I really want it to stick. It is quite dimensional. And again, I'm putting over here. Again, it's quite dimensional. I might just straighten my chair up. I apologise, people, for that. But um, I'm... Um, ah, and then I forgot to put the bit of paper I was thinking about putting on it. I'll see if I can do that now. Just a little bit of paper torn out of a book. I did want to add this to it. What if I could put, yeah, put that underneath there? It's not dry yet. There we go. It just gives it that something else. Uh, and everybody's got old books I don't they want, you know. That was an old book that was had it. It had been had it for years and torn and, and whatever. There we go. Just straighten that back up. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on here. Because it's so much dimension coming up, I'm not going to add any more. I'm not going to add any more thickness to it. Just hold that there for one second. Again, a little bit of chipboard. Um, these are cogs. Um, I'm not even sure where they came from. To be honest, I'm going to do a little bit of red on this one. This one's rusty red. I'll do red or copper. I think I might go rich. I might go rich copper. And I'm going to have to put a bit of gold on that, I think. And I like the gold on because even though you've got um, a lot of gold on here, the gold just seems to highlight everything for me. I don't know why. I just think I just like it. Again, I'm just going to put a bit of this there. And this is just guesswork. I I just fly by the seat of my pants, really, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I've got a, I think it's a propeller or something there. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to, do, again, do a bit of that red, that little bit of that gold. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of the blue to bring it back in. Okay, and I've fussy cut this out as well from that same paper. Um, and that is a, um, again, a cog with a bolt or nut or something. Like I said, I'm winging this. So what you see here is basically 
you know, I'm just winging the whole thing. I don't really like that much there. I like that cog there. I like that there. But this one, I need to go under a bit. Hmm. So it's a process, isn't it? And it's, oh, that's because everything's so wet. I haven't let anything dry. If I was doing this myself, I'd have this dried first. Uh, but I'm trying to hurry for yourselves. Go on there. Right. Now, like I said, all this glue dries, so I don't have an issue with that. There's a reason I want that there. I'll just leave that there. Maybe this glue will be better there. Because it's so thick and dimensional. Yeah. There you go. There we go. And I've got everything has beauty in it. And if you wonder why I am doing that now when I've not finished, it's because I have a process. And I've got a key here. Oh, I've got a key. Again, a little bit of gold on it just to highlight the key. And a little bit of blue. Okay. Again, some more glue. I've got one messy place here. And I'm going to put this on here. And as everything has beauty, oh, yes, Donna, cut that off would help. Would it not, people? Mm. Talk to myself sometimes. So everything has beauty. Okay, now what else can I use? This one here, I was thinking about putting a the word there, but I, I don't like the word there. So I think I might put, hmm, I've got so much stuff here. Aha, uh -huh. yes, I will put one of these on. I fluke seen that there. Okay. Okay. And I think uh, we need a little bit of the bead just to finish it off. And believe me, I will clean all this mess up Directly. So I'll just put some here. I'm going to put some there. I'll put a little bit there. Maybe some on there. Definitely some there. Okay. 
And you can see where there's a bit of glue because it's stuck there. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back in here. And I know I'm probably got yeah, in frame, out of frame. I've probably got doesn't help that I do that. Um I'm going to put a little bit of that there. And if you wonder what I'm doing, it's because I now have some blue beads. And these are from Little Birdie. And these are bigger beads. And the good thing about these is that you can just brush off if there's too many. Okay. And I think I'm just going to use this again. Take these that bit off there. And I might put, I might put, have I got any bigger gold? Yes. Okay. These are from Control Creations. They're the premium adhesive pearls. Uh, these ones are three millimeters. Oh gosh, I've probably gone over half hour. I've never uploaded one so long. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Put that to the side. And I think that's about done. If I think I can overdo it, I could keep going. I'll probably go back through it later and think, oh, I should have done this, should have done that, um, should have done something else. Because uh, he's got wings, I could add a little bit of glitter to the wing, just the wing tips. Oh, my goodness. Yes, now it's coming. There we go. Just a bit of glitter. I mean, you can take it as far as you like. You can do what you like, you know. It's, it's an individual thing. If some people may think that's awful or may think that, um, you know, that's too much. I probably will later. Um, but I'm just showing you what you can do. There's some things that you can actually do. There. I'll put a light on it. Um, now that I'm not working on it and I hope that look it's different and that's what I like I like different things I, I, I hate having what everybody else has um, I rather it different so it's that one I did and that one today okay so these are just coming back up there we go there's two there so that's what I created today I'll bring a close up to see if, um, see I've missed a bit of that um, Mod Podge, but that's fine. I can go back in and do that. I just don't want you to keep on, on here any longer. This one I'll bring up a bit closer. Lots of gold. Okay. Now, these are some that I've done. I'll just be really quick. So that's, again, not as bad as this one. This one's different. I've used um, 
Again, the same technique here, uh, but on this one, I've used um, a 3D folder uh, uh, resin, resin on this one. Again, it's a resin on that one. And again, resin on that one. Now, these backgrounds are a bit different. It's in, in the aspect that I've actually used the background for these. It's foil. So I've covered the circles with foil. And then I've done the same technique with the, with the waxes and things. Okay? And these is the resins. And I've done these myself. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed them, or at least you got something from it. Um, I'm sorry if it took so long, 40 minutes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I apologize. Um, leave a comment if you liked it or you didn't like it. Forward ahead, people. Forward ahead. I do it all the time. Be safe out there. See you soon.